When it comes to improving conditioning, oftentimes coaches and athletes make poor choices. The reason why I say they're poor is any exercise can get you tired, but does it get you better? Does it prepare you more for the demands of your sport? Here I've gone through some pogos, some straight leg bounding, and some uh, variations of hops and skipping. Not only will this have a cardiovascular effect, especially if they're put back to back to back in a warm up, but also it's going to prepare the uh, joints and tissues to be able to tolerate impacts of higher speed. Many times when people return to injury, they just think that because the site itself has healed, that other sites won't have detrained during this period. This is why I like using extended warm-ups to get a cardiovascular hit, as well as preparing the hamstrings, the Achilles tendon, and other joints involved in sprinting fast. If you're not doing aerobic plyometrics, you might be missing a trick. Drop me a message to learn more.